Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Hi everyone, uh, this is the our uh, lecture one uh, first session and uh, you will find that is uh, it is very interesting to get the introduction about this particular uh, subject uh, that is about the leadership and team management. Now, now you see whenever we are talking about the functions of a manager, so it is becoming the planning, organizing, leading and controlling is there and leadership is becoming a part for the rest of the all the functions as a backbone. Why? Because unless and until you are not able to become a leader, you cannot get the work done from the others. Therefore, in this particular uh, session, we will talk about that exactly what we understand by the leadership. Who is a leader? What type of the leadership a person can do or perform? And then in that case, whenever we are talking about that is the a leader has to perform as a leadership. Now, here I would also like to make a difference between the manager and a leader. Who is a manager? As I mentioned planning, organizing, leading and controlling. And who is a leader? Who is performing the job of a leadership activities? So, how it is different? It is different in the sense it is just one, one functions of a manager. That is why all managers are leaders, but all leaders are not manager and exactly what is the leadership that we will be also discussing in the detail. Now, it is also uh, always a question that is uh, whether the leadership is a science or art. We will be discussing in this particular session whether uh, the it is to be on the basis of the logic, on rationality or it is an articulation, articulation to do a particular job and therefore, if we are going for that particular articulation of the job, then definitely we, we are performing both the job of a scientist who is rational, logical, evidence based and also the art of uh, making the uh, uh, different uh, uh, solutions, creation of solutions that creativity and in, in this case whenever we are talking about the leadership, we will also talk about whether it is rational or emotional. Because you see the creativity, the colors, the paintings and that, that is all is the part of the emotion, expression of emotions. So, whenever you are set, then you are going for the black color, you are not going for the very vibrant colors, you are not going, going to be the creating in happiness surrounding to you and you are painting the which will be uh, expressed as a sadness. But when you are happy, then your colors will reflect that yes, whatever the culture, now what a leader does in the organization, leader, uh, leader paints a culture in the organization, he is a painter. And this particular painting which is very colorful on the basis of the creation of the particular culture of the organization. So, therefore, we will also understand when you are becoming the emotional, then you, how is your leadership style. The, the second part of uh, this particular discussion and uh, this uh, uh, course itself. So, we have talked about the leadership and team effectiveness. So, we are focusing on both. So, here I will also talk about the introduction of the team management that is a how what is the difference between a group and team? Many people they understand that is the once you create a group for example, uh, in any organization you are having one department right and in department 10 persons are working, 10 employees are working. Now, these 10 employees are they working as a group or they are working as a team? How will you differentiate? How do you know that is the in this organization, in this particular culture whether we are having that, uh, that uh, synergy? or that cohesion and whenever we are talking about that synergy or cohesion, it means that you have converted the group into team and that is the how to do that and how to manage a team that we will discuss in this team management is there, how many types of teams are there. But in this particular subject you will find that we are not only talking the theoretical, 
we are in having the case studies also, we are having the research papers also, we are having the books recommendations also for you and therefore, as a result you will find that for the different colors you will have the different activities and this way we will be having the sessions. Now, here the first and foremost is to become a leader, how to become a leader right and when you become the leader then how you are making the other peoples to go, uh, grow in the organization. So, employees development in the organization is the responsibility of a leader, he is a facilitator, he is an actor who is creating the coordination, who is the actor, who is showing the vision to the people, he, he, he is the person who is creating and helping the careers of others. But before reaching to that particular position of leader, no, what is important is that, that you yourself become the leader. So, therefore, when you are talking about the uh, yourself to become a leader, it is a first part which is compulsory because unless and until you do not become the leader, how, how will you make the others as leader, right. If you have that power, that positioning, that influencing power, it is not the positioning power. For example, manager. So, manager is also having the power, but what power he is having? He is having positional power, but whether he is effective or not, managerial effectiveness and then he is effective if he is having the effective leadership style. And how to be effective leader that we will see. So, according to the Jack Welch, before you are a leader, success is all about growing yourself. So, dear friends, when, when you decide to execute the leadership, you have to occupy the position of a leader. And why you want to occupy the position of a leader? It is not just because of the money or the glamour, but rather than it is to helping others to grow. You see, leader takes the initiative, leader makes the person to move, leaders make the person to grow and therefore, in that case, this positioning uh, the activities which are becoming very, very important and therefore, uh, the, according to the Jake Welch, it is the first you develop yourself as a leader and then you develop to others. The greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things, not necessarily, right. So, like I will use the example of Chanakya and Chandragupta, right. So, it is not the Ch Chanakya who was the leader uh, uh, in, in the war, rather than he made the, Chand uh, made the Chandragupta as a leader, right. So, the greatest things that is the uh, winners are made by the teachers and therefore, the winners are doing the greatest things, teacher is guiding them, teacher, teachership is also a role of a leadership role is there, right. Uh, I hope you will agree, it is in the classroom, he is a leader and therefore, not necessarily that whatever I am discussing with you, right, that, that is uh, I have also done in the industry. However, I am having the 10 years of industry experience, so, so I have been I had been the leaders into the industries, but not necessarily all teachers those who are not having the industry experience by chance. So, therefore, in that case, but they know that is how to run the industry. So, therefore, in that case the greatest things whatever has been done. So, that whether it is a player also in the ground and a coach. So, coach may not be having the, those records which the player is having. So, therefore, that greatest things are not necessarily done by the teacher or that coach or the, that facilitator or that leader, this no, and this teacher, uh, the coach, the facilitator, all these are the roles of a leader, right. They are the, they are the leaders in their fields, right. So, therefore, it, it is the, the person who is becoming the leader in the industry, who is playing in the ground, who is a swimming in the swimming pool and, and not, not, not of the coach or teacher. They, so, therefore, he, he, he is the one that gets the people to do the greatest things, right. So, many times the people have to understand that is the, the uh, there are four parameters, knowledge, attitude, skills and habits. 
So, coach is having the knowledge, coach is uh, having that particular attitude, but he is a student may have the more skillful power because he, he has exercised and therefore, in the uh, you, uh, some very simple example, the champions in the Olympics. Right. So, when we talk about the champions in the Olympics, then those champions coach are not the champions, but that the, the, the participant, that player is, is the champion. So, it is that gets the people to do the greatest things, that, that gold medal. Right. So, that, that is the direction, dear friends. So, that direction according to Ronald Reagan, it is, it is a direction which is becoming very, very important for a leader and that is why it, it is called the leadership is there. So, uh, uh, how do we define the leadership? So, leadership is the ability of a person to influence a group towards the achievement of a vision or set of goals. I always uh, say and there are the number of theories are there right and therefore, in that uh, uh, theories you will find that is whenever we are talking about um, this is the goal is there hmm? and about this goal you will find that is the here uh, that is the direction is there, this is the direction, this is the goal and whenever we are talking about to achieve this particular goal by this particular direction, then it becomes very, very, where is the leader, right. So, leader is standing here and who is reaching there, who is going by this zigzag path, right and it is the follower and this is the goal. Now, this ability to influence right, this ability to influence is by this particular leader. If leader is having that particular ability to influence, then definitely this follower he is able to achieve goal. So, and this is the path. Now, why I am at this zigzag? Zigzag path shows that is the uh, there will be a lot of challenges to achieve this goal, dear friends. That is why everybody does not become the leader, everybody does not achieve the goal. A coach is having a number of um, the players, uh, a teacher might be having the number of students in the class, but who is the CEO of the class who is able to walk down on this zigzag path and then he reaches there. So, dear friends, it becomes very, very important that is the whether you are able to make this particular goal or not, it depends on the leader who is making the influence. But as you have seen who walks on the path, the, uh, the person who is uh, going to achieve that particular goal, right? that is the, the that follower. So, when that leader is able to um, what I will say extract, able to extract the potential, potential of the follower, then in that case he will be a, uh, be a competent person to become a, a leader, right. If the person is not able to achieve, person means follower is not able to achieve his goal, then leadership is failure. It is not successful rather than it is becoming the failure is there. Now, very, very important uh, the, uh, the act is interpersonal relationship between leader and follower. That commitment, that loyalty uh, and that trust that is becoming very, very important. So, on one side the leader is to be competent enough, other side the leader should have a very good relationship with the followers. So, if a person who attempts to influence the behavior of others, right? so therefore, what happens there is that particular follower, that follower will be able to do the things or activities as per the requirement of the leader. So, a uh, very simple example I would like to give that is uh, reach to the ground at 5 o'clock in the morning, it is raining, are you able to, uh, is the follower is reaching there 5 o'clock or it is it, it, a heavy raining, so he cannot reach, 
right. So, you might be having the different opinions or how one can reach there, how one will be uh, uh, able to do the that uh, activity, there is no point by reaching there and uh, doing the activities and all. Now, you tell me suppose after sometimes the rain stops and your exercise time was 5 to 6 in the morning and at 5 o'clock heavy rains, 5 20 it stops. So, you are having the 40 minutes for you to do the exercise, but are you doing those 40 minute exercise? But if you not reach the 5 o'clock because it was heavy raining, right, then definitely the follow. What I want to say is that is the commitment, loyalty, right, time management, these are not only simply words, these are the directions given by the leader always. Whether no, no, another example I would like to give you the parents. Parents are also leader, father, father is the leader of the family, hmm? mother is the homemaker, and therefore, in that case, you find who makes the home that particular that, that particular department and section of the running the home is the leadership of mother. So, therefore, in that case, whether that competency whether it is the mother or the father as a leader in their areas respective areas and that, that is becoming very, very important. And when they are committed, they are loyal for attaining the predetermined objective. Now, there may be uh, different of opinions, thoughts uh, and the act, uh, processes, we will also see the different styles, different styles of leadership. So, therefore, uh, some uh, parents are very autocratic, while the some parents are very lenient, some parents are rational, right. And but which one will be uh, will be working, which style will be working, right, that, that answer you will get in my further sessions, right. So, here it is. Organizations need strong leadership and strong management for the optimal effectiveness. Now, you see that is the uh, goal is to be achieved. It is the main machine, material, money, method, minutes, all six M's are invested dear friends to achieve that particular goal. So, in the family also, it is the main power, main hours by parents that is there, is there. It is a technology which is provided to you, machinery is there. There is a money, investment of money is there, so money is there. There is a time spent that is the minutes are there. There is a process of the routine that is a method is there. Then there are the resources uh, for the, uh, for a student maybe it is uh, your the study material and that is becoming the your material. So, main machine, material, money, method and minutes all all, all these aims are to be provided. So, therefore, it requires strong leadership and strong management because anything, any resource, if it is not having the utilized in the uh, uh, in optimized way, there will be no optimal effectiveness. If you want to make the optimal effectiveness, you are supposed to get the optimal utilization, and that is the management. And so, leader is a very good manager also. Leaders are needed to challenge the status quo. So, actually what is a leader? Leader who is having the vision and what is the vision? Whatever the present is there, there is something change and therefore, leader brings the change. So, there is another role of a leader that is a change agent and therefore, in the change agent role, it is the he has to challenge the status quo. This simple example I would like to give you the State Bank of India and in the State Bank of India, Mr. Robert was the chairman of the SBI at that time, uh, he has made the uh, highly tech savvy the uh, State Bank of India, data case study of uh, the is there. So, he has challenged the status quo and he has made that uh, organization that is the State Bank of India so tech savvy and he has changed the status of the SBI. So, that is the it is the uh, is the effective leadership. So, for the effective leadership, there is needed the challenge the status quo and create the visions of the future. And all of us know now that is the how the SBI is successfully leading, and that is that is the vision of the future is there, right? But it is not uh, forcefully because change is never to be pushed. Change is has has to be pulled. 
right and therefore, in that case you will find that is the inspiring organizational member style of leadership is there. So, if you want to achieve the visions uh, it is a collective effort, it is a directional effort where all are going towards that particular goal right and voluntarily it is it is the inspiring organizational members. Huh? So, therefore, voluntarily they are joining your vision. So, suppose you decide to make any change in your organization to make it more tech savvy then definitely your leadership style should be very, very much highly inspiring to achieve the goal is there. So, uh, th that is about the leaders. Now, we will talk about the leadership and therefore, in that case uh, the, the different authors they have defined the leadership in a different ways are there. So, the process by which an agent induces right that is a subordinate to behave in a desired manner. Hmm? So, therefore, in that case it, it, it is the direction for which the, there is an induced way is there. The process of influencing an organized group towards the accomplishment of its goals are there. So, therefore, in that case to achievement of its goal that will be the process of the influencing the organization is there which I already I have talked about earlier. Now, a very common practice which uh, you should uh, understand and uh, according to me you should uh, uh, try to practice is as much maximum as much as possible and that is about the creation, creating the conditions for a team to be effective and for that purpose it, it, it is the you have to create the uh, resources. Hmm? So, uh, what leaders does? Leader motivates the employees that is the yes uh, you perform, but then they say sir to perform this we require the resources and to create the desire of opportunities. What you do? You are able to who making this particular opportunities to be performed, you know, resources are to be managed. When you are managing those resources then definitely uh, you will be able to be create and achieve the opportunities. Dear friends, Many people do not become leader because they say we do not have money, we do not have manpower, we do not have time minutes, we do not have the no, uh, we do not know how to do that, right? So all all these resources, right? Six M's that that there has to be managed, managed by the leader for its employees, and those who are able to manage, they are true sense leaders. But they, those who are by position of by the leaders, no they will not be able to manage those resources. So, to manage that resources it becomes very very important that is the leader should be competent enough and what how he does he creates the conditions to work together No, what is a team, team is a synergy, synergy means to become the you know, working together and therefore, when all are working. So, whole nature conspires about your success and that is because of you are working in a team. The ability to get results and the ability to build teams by the leader, huh? this represents the what and the how of the leadership is there, right. So, therefore, uh, one should be enough competent to get the results and one should be having the enough ability to build the teams, you know, working together. Now, now wow, it, it is not that easy dear friends, it is very difficult, it is very difficult to create the teams, right. Now, according to the apprentice, the leadership is the accomplishment of the goal through the direction of human assistance, right. A leader is one who successfully marshals his uh, human collaborators to achieve the particular ends. According to North House, which I have discussed earlier, uh, the words are different, but the message is same. Leadership is a process where an individual influences a group of individuals to achieve a common goal. And now here it is in the true sense, it is a process is there. Whenever I use the word process or the author has used the word process, what does it mean? It is not a single activity, it is a series of activity. So, therefore, leadership will not be successful in the overnight. It will not like this that is a today you decide to be leader and tomorrow you are a leader. No, 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 no. You have to follow a process. Process means series of activities and Jacob and Jacobs has given a process of giving the purpose hmm, meaningful direction to collective efforts and causing willing effort to the be expanded to achieve the purpose is there. So, when you are able to achieve the purpose 
then you are becoming the successful. The another definition is given is by, by the journey is leadership is not a person or a position. It is a complex moral relationship between the people based on the trust. These are the dimensions. These are the different dimensions of the leadership. The one is a trust, obligation, commitment, emotion and shared vision of the good is there. So, they have shared vision of a good. So, therefore, in that case why all are working? All are not working for the self. They are working for the good for the other people. It is is the art of influencing others to their maximum performance. This is also a very beautiful definition dear friends, where we are making that, that particular efforts to get the potential of the employees. Now, now, now you see that is the many people um, they are like the horse. What is the strength of the horse? The strength of the horse is power. So, they are very powerful, but they do not have direction and this direction is given by the leader. And when that horse power is used in the right direction, automatically you get the results. But that efforts are providing the direction that that is the job of a leader. And when a leader does it successfully, definitely the objectives or goals are achieved. So, leadership is an attempt of influencing the activities of followers through the communication process and towards the attainment of some goals. Right, uh, and therefore, in that case, it, 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 these are these definitions. These definitions give us the different direction. Now, in the case of the first, it, it, it is becoming the trust. Trust is a dimension. Now, you can do the research also. Suppose uh, uh, you have to identify the leader, that personality who trusts, he can become the leader. A person who always have the doubts on his team members uh, working with the people, whether they have done, they have not done, whether they have come on time, they have not come on time. So, not effective leader, because when there is no trust, what can be the outcome there? And if they, if somebody does not trust you, what you will do? You will not follow that particular person. No, this person does not trust me, how I can follow him? So, this dimension of the trust, employee commitment, emotional intelligence, achievement of the goals, then the, in the second definition we talk about that is the art of influence or the communication process. So, these are all are the dimensions. So, why we refer the different definitions? You may ask sir, uh, give us a one definition. So, one definition will not be enough dear friends. Why it is not enough? Because every definition is having certain research base and in that research base they talk about the different dimensions. When they talk about the different dimensions, then it becomes very, very important that we should know maximum dimensions as much as possible to be effective leader. Because leadership is affected by the different dimensions. So, do we know all dimensions? No, it is not possible for us to know the each and every dimensions because there are the hundreds of dimensions in a leadership, but at least we can get the maximize information about the what are the different dimensions and we can get the that prominent dimensions which are the prominent dimensions in the leadership is there. Now, whether the leadership is both a science and an art. So, saying leadership is both a science and art uh, emphasize the subject of the leadership right. Like in the what sense it is an art inspiring a person to from whom you want the managerial effectiveness or the employee effectiveness you can say or the uh, uh, he, he has to be uh, give his the best. So, you have to influence that particular person to influence that particular person that is, that, that is then art. You cannot uh, motivate or inspire everybody by money. You will say, Sir, paisa de to kaam ho jai. No. Many people, they will not be get motivated or influenced by your money. They say, okay, you keep your money with you. It is not the money for them important. It is a job satisfaction. That is becoming the important is there. And there, therefore, in that case, it is a motivation 
to know the motivation and then to give the motivation, provide the motivation is, is an art, art by the leader. And those uh, leaders, those who are fully motivate the employees, then, then, then that culture is there. It is a vibrant culture, energetic culture, right? And therefore, in that case, you will find that that is everybody is motivated. Everybody means I know that is everybody cannot be there. What I want to say that 80 percent is motivated in any organization. If 80 percent are doing their jobs voluntarily, so then they become the excellent organization, the, the great place to work, right? And therefore, in that case, that motivation is there. But it, it is uh, every day doing the routine job? No, it is a vision, vision for tomorrow. So, when we talk about the vision 2000, that is over, 2010, that is over, 2020, that is over. So, now 2030, Dr. Kalam has created the vision 2050, right. So, therefore, in that case, it, it is the ability, it is the ability of the individual to have the knowledge, information, attitude, skills about the creation of vision and accordingly the periodical vision will be there. Now, it is a science also. So, whenever we are talking about the science, right? So, we are going by the equations. Like for example, here we are talking about the y is equal to a plus b x, a is equal to l plus oe, organizational effectiveness, right? Now, whenever we are talking about the r s is equal to r f plus r m minus r into b, now, now, what is that? That is the that equation that talks about different dimensions of leadership. And whenever we are having the different dimensions of leadership, then you find that is how these dimensions they are reflecting for the overall creation of the leadership is there. So, x equation is there, the y equation is there and then your output that depends on the x and y and how do you are able to perform. So, it is the managers may be effective leaders without ever even having taken a course or training program in the leadership. So, many many uh, the traditional level leaders like when you talk about the Dhirubhai Ambani, right. So, they, they have not taken a course on a training program on the leadership is there. So, some scholars in the field of leadership may be relatively poor leaders themselves and therefore, even the some scholars those who have studied this uh, leadership and they may not be able to be effective leader. So, why? Because the skills in analyzing and responding. So, when a teacher uh, uh, address to the 90 students, 100 students and they, then, then they, the, but the CEO becomes the one or two and therefore, in that case, it is becoming the that knowledge and that knowledge is based on information. Information is based on data and that knowledge you convert into wisdom. So, it, it is a pyramid. Data data into information, information into knowledge, knowledge into wisdom and wisdom into truth, truth means practicing. So, therefore, in that case here, it is the skill of analyzing hmm? whatever data you give, only the person who knows the analysis of the data, he will be analyzing the data and then he will be able to respond to the situations, right. So, therefore, in that case, it is very, very important that is, that is the art basically. Uh, that is the how a person is able to convert the data into information, information into knowledge, knowledge into wisdom and wisdom into truth, right. So, leadership will always remain partly an art as well as a science. So, it is a combination of both, partly it is a science, partly it is an art is there. Now, emotions uh, leadership is also both the rational and emotional sides of the human experience is there. And therefore, in that case, it, it is becoming very, very important that is the uh, you are logical, rational means science, emotional means art, which I have mentioned earlier. So, therefore, it includes the based on their reason and logic as well as those based on the inspiration and passion. Now, to whom you can become the leader, who wants to be the leader, right? So, you can inspire somebody, but one should have that passion for doing right from the follower to the leader unless and until if leader is not having that patient to be a leader, no effective leadership is there. And if the follower he does not have that patient to learn, no there can he cannot become the leader. So, therefore, both are required inspiration and patient is required. People are both rational and emotional. So, leaders can use rational techniques and emotional appeals. 
So, what do you learn from this uh, input? You learn from this input that is you should be the master, master of the rational techniques based on the science, no? So, some things should be scientific, logical, report based and inspiring personality, emotional appeal to the influence the followers, right. But they also must weigh the rational and emotional consequences of their actions. So, it, it is not like that you, you make the somebody emotional by giving the evidences and when the person becomes emotional and inspiring and he does the negative act, no, no, that negative act is not acceptable. What is to be converted? A positive cause of good that is required is there. So, it, it is there, there is one example is given by the author is that is a civil move, rights movements of the 1960s, which was based on emotion as well as on principles. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Right, inspired many people to action, he touched the people's hearts as well as their heads and therefore, that is becoming the leadership is there. The word management suggests words like the efficiency, planning, paperwork, pro procedures, regulations, controls and consistency is there and therefore, in that case in the management you will find these words are uh, included. When we talk about the leadership is more associated with the words like risk taking, dynamic, creative, change and vision is there. So, when you compare the personality of a manager and the leader, so that manager is a good planner, paperwork procedure, he is uh, able to regulate the rules, control the rules and there is a consistency in the behavior, but in the leadership it, it is dynamic, it is not the consistency, it is a dynamic is there, vibrant and therefore, keep on changing, doing how, what changing? Doing the new things, right. So, that he changes the create, uh, the different go, uh, goals, right and go to the further next level of the goals with the help of the vision and with the help of the creativity is there. So, some authors say leadership is fundamentally a value choosing and thus a value laden activity whereas, the management is not. Leaders are thought to do the right things whereas, the managers are thought to do the things right. So, right. so therefore, in that case that creation of that goal, creation of that vision that is becoming very very important. Whenever we are talking about the leadership and management, then it is the I, 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 always it is the overlap as I mentioned they are the part of this. Now, I would like to give certain examples like in the manager is the administer, administration is very very important. He is having the maintenance, maintenance that is whatever the policy, procedure, rules, regulations of the organizations are there, he is maintaining those uh, rules and regulations. He is controlling those who are not able to maintain that particular discipline then he takes the actions against them. Then the manager is having the short term view, because he is concerned with whatever has been told in the rules that, that is has to be followed, that is the short term view is there. How and when he, he is highly concerned with is how this goal is to be achieved and when it is to be achieved. Then he is having the imitate whatever the best practices are there, he is repeating those practices, accept the status quo, that is whatever is going on, what can he does. Uh, what can he do? So, therefore, he will be having that continuity. While the leader, leader is innovative, innovation is there, he develops, he develops the new uh, procedures, new practices, new people, new technology. So, that is the development is there. He inspires others, right. He is having the vision, uh, vision means long term view. Right. He creates a vision and as the people, he inspires them to achieve their particular vision or goal. He is highly concerned with what is required and why it is required right? and he originate, he, he does not copy rather than he originate himself, but with his creativity and challenge it that whatever the status quo is there, then he will challenge it that is a, what, what, what is important is required. Now, here we will also talk about that is a team, that is whenever we are talking about the leadership, then leadership with the followers and followers they are having a, a number of people, those who are having the synergy and working together. A group whose individual efforts 
result in performance that is greater than the sum of the individual input naturally. So, therefore, 2 plus 2 is more than 4 right. So, therefore, many times in management we say 2 plus 2 is 22. So, therefore, it, it is a sum of individuals input it is greater than that it generates positive synergy through the coordinated efforts that coordination working together and that team energy is there. Now, here we will like to see the different dimensions of the team building with the help of the different definitions. A team is a small group of people with complementary skills committed to a common purpose and set up the specific performance goals. So, this is very important that there is a common goal that we understand, but here a most important is the that is the complementary complementary supporting each other, supporting each other the skills committed and that is the uh, according to Smith is this particular definition is there. As far as the Dyer is concerned, he has talked about the other dimensions. According to him that on collaboration of each member is to experience the optimum success and achievement is there. So, why we should collaborate? Why should be complementary? Why should we support our colleagues? Why should we support our superiors? Why should we support our subordinates? Because the optimum success and achievement is there. Whenever there is an optimum success and achievement, then definitely the person will be having a strong team. Thompson has given the another definition. It is a group of people who are in, uh, interdependent with respect to information, resources, knowledge and skills right and therefore, somebody is expertise in information, somebody is expertise in resources, somebody is expertise in knowledge, somebody is highly skillful and who seek to combine their efforts to achieve a common goal. So, there are different members are there and those all these members they are going to make these particular skills. Now, the team management is concerned. So, a group of individuals each of whom has a personal responsibility for leading the some part of an organization and who are interdependent for the purpose of providing overall leadership for a larger enterprise is there. How, how to be practiced? Team management refers to the various activities which uh, bind a team together by bringing the team members clear to the achieve the set targets are there that we know uh, the common goals is there. I ideally think more or less on the same lines now the people now people who can be working together if they are opposing each other how they can be successful team there cannot be a successful team. So, therefore, they have the same lines and should have similar interests and objectives are there. Now, in the organizations you will find that different types of teams are there problem solving teams are there 5 to 12 employees from the same department who met for, for a few hours each week to uh, discuss way of improving quality efficiency the work environment is there you may really have the authority to unilaterally implement any of their suggestions that is the problem solvings are there. Then there are the self managed teams now you see the organization this type of the teams because uh, here the typically 10 to 15 numbers members are there and they have and they take their own initiatives right and therefore, in that case they are able to perform in a self managed team is there. Now, the self management work teams even select their own members and evaluate like you know we give the assignments. So, we give it ask that is the ok uh, make your own team. So, because when they, they make the group that group converts into the team because they are known to each other and each other's performance supervisory positions on the decrease importance and sometimes are uh, 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 even the eliminated is there. There are the cross functional teams are there in the cross functional teams you will find employees from about the same hierarchy level, but different work areas who come together to accomplish a task. All the major automobile manufacturers Toyota, Honda, Nissan, BMW, GM, Ford and Chrysler currently use their form of team to coordinate the complex projects. Then there are the virtual teams. Virtual teams use computer technology to unite physically dispersed members and achieve a common goal is there. Now, that is the nowadays whenever we have faced this uh, uh, this uh, uh, corona phase 1, phase 2. Uh, so, therefore, in that case this technology this virtual team they have become it has become the more effectiveness and they, this is having the continent parts is there. So, how to create the effective team and uh, um, making the team building. So, teams vary in their dear effectiveness if team is to work effectively the following four variables are to be there. First is about the task does the team know what is to be done 
or there are the boundaries that is the collective members of the team appropriate for the task to be performed, what are the norms, what to do and what not to do and what is the authority where the authority can be used to flexible rather than a rigid manager is there. Now, here we will talk about this uh, case study. So, please uh, see this particular case study and then you will find in this uh, case study with one of your teams for the several years their work is excellent and the team gets along well together. Recognizing their abilities you feel they can now work more on their own. You have begun this year to redirect your energies to other projects and teams and they have continued to work effectively you must now ask them to accept additional tasks and responsibilities, what you would do. So, therefore, in that case you will find that is the you should assign them the new responsibility, make sure they know what to do and supervise them closely. Give them the new responsibility, tell them what you are pleased with their past performance and that you are sure they will do well this new responsibility and uh, making the teams meetings are there frequently interacting with them. Make sure they know what you want them to do, but incorporate any helpful suggestions they have. So, therefore, naturally because they are doing it first time, so they will require for certain suggestions. Let them determine how to complete the new responsibility and be available to support them and provide the information and resources that will be needed. Now, this is the research paper uh, that is uh, for the particular the, uh, uh, the leadership and team effectiveness. I am sure that is uh, you will be able to get certain inputs from this research paper. I found it interesting and that is there. So, the purpose of this study is to investigate the moderating effect of contingent reward on the relationship between the democratic leadership style and the organizational performance is there. And in this research paper explanatory and cross sectional survey designs were used, a quantitative research approach was uh, adopted to collect the data from 476 employees uh, in the telecommunication industry. Using statistics packages for social science, the data was analyzed via descriptive statistics, correlation and hierarchical regression techniques are there. And on basis of this methodology, the findings are that enhancement of the democratic leadership through the introduction of the contingent rewards, study point out contingent reward is an effective moderator for other leadership styles in predicting the organizational performance compared to the extant literature on the positive relationship between the uh, democratic leadership and organizational performance is there. Now, here that practical implication of the study is to telecommunication industry would exhibit democratic leadership to improve the performance of their organization. It implies that democratic managers would have to incorporate contingent reward. This would increase the satisfaction and commitment level of employees and in turn increase organizational performance is there. And this is the last is the book recommendation for the lessons of the experience which you can refer. This is the another book for the leadership challenges there, these are the references for these notes, you can go into the details by reading this particular uh, uh, the literature and this is all about the introduction of the leadership and team effectiveness. Thank you.